It is the 6th of the 6th, 2011, and I have two stories I want to bring you tonight, both of them having to do with nuclear power plants in crisis. The first nuclear power plant in crisis is in Egypt. The Anashas Nuclear Reactor, A-N-S-H-A-S, of course I will provide the links below, <clears throat> located on the outskirts of Cairo, has leaked 10 cubic meters of radioactive water for the second time in a year. According to, I'm not going to slur his name, the former director of the Nuclear Research Center's Automatic Reactions Department, uh, they submitted a note to the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces saying the leakage took place on 25th of May as a result of operating the reactor without taking into account safety precautions. He also said the atomic energy kept the incident secret and threatened to fire the staff if they talked about it. The fact that the reactor was a mere chance not operated the next day saved the area from environmental disaster. He wrote, all ministries were changed after revolution except for the Ministry of Electricity and Energy. He added, it still kept the same minister and his deputies from the dissolved ruling party. Meanwhile, sources at the Nuclear Safety Authority said they were denied entry into the reactor to conduct, to conduct an inspection. The director of Atomic Energy Agency, again I'm not going to slur his name, said the levels of radiation inside the reactors are normal and that the International Atomic Energy Agency has praised the reactor. Now I did a little Google search and here's another story I came up on this reactor. Uh, on. This was dated um, Saturday, June 4th, 2011. Of course I will attach the link below. Egypt nuclear reactor to begin operation this month. So apparently this uh, reactor hasn't even began full operation yet. Egypt's Nuclear Energy Authority will begin operating the research reactor of Inas nuclear plant on June 21st. The decision came in contradiction of an announcement by the chairman of Nuclear Safety Center, who refused the reactor's operation without the approval of his, of his center. Uh, sources of the authority told Yom 7 the operation process would be attended by a delegation of an Argentinian company which will arrive in Cairo in the next few days to operate the isotopes factory which will produce the isotopes necessary for treating many diseases including cancer. Um, so this is a reactor in Cairo um, that they haven't got all together yet. It's due to fire up officially on the 21st and they are already having leakage and safety issues. Uh, of course I will provide the links below. The other nuclear reactor power plant um, situation I have to report is out of um, <clears throat> Fort Calhoun, Nebraska, United States. The OPPD declares notification of unusual event at the Fort Calhoun Nuclear Power Station. In a news release, the OPPD s says, quote, notification of an unusual event indicates events are in process or have occurred which indicate the potential impacts to the plant. It is important to note that the reactor remains shut down for refueling and is not a threat to neighbors. We also told in the news release, no release of radioactive material has happened or is expected. Currently, the OPDD is using sandbags, temporary dams, and water pumps to hold the Missouri River back. As we saw firsthand today, the flood already on the plant property is just getting higher. And I have another uh, story, of course. Nebraska nuke plant declares emergency due to flooding on the Missouri River. Omaha, Nebraska. This is an Associated Press release. A Nebraska nuclear power plant on the west bank of the Missouri River has declared an emergency because of the rising river. The Omaha Public Power District, which operates the Fort Calhoun plant, says that Monday that the river has reached a, l a level where the company is declaring a notification of unusual event which is the lowest of four emergency levels that are the standard for the U.S. nuclear industry. The utility said it has notified the Nuclear Re Regulatory Commission and the emergency management agencies in Nebraska and Iowa. That's me. Fort Calhoun plant, which is about 20 miles north of Omaha, has been shut down since early April for refueling. How convenient. The OPPD says in a statement, no release of radioactive material requiring off-site response to monitoring has occurred or is expected. So again, we have two more nuclear power plants in crisis, one in Egypt, 
one in Nebraska. Um, links below. Enjoy what you can, everybody.